going to open up one, two, three of the new mini verse Make It Mini Food. And this is the second series. It was recently Kai's birthday and we received some of these as gifts. So it is time to open them, friends. All right, friends, it's time to open up the first one. So we'll pull right here. All right, let's open up the second layer. All right, now let's crack it open. A little surprises. And then we have the read me first things. And we have the checklist too. So let's go ahead and open up all the blind bags. It's just like last time. We have, have all the blind bags. Let's get them all out. Then we have this too. It says Sunfish. I like that. Okay, so let's open up our blind bags. We got a little cup. So let's open up this one next. Oh, wow, what is this? Oh wow, it's fresh vanilla. I like that name. All right, cool. So let's open this one up next. Okay, so we have some orange juice it looks like. And of course it says do not eat because it may look good to you. All right. And then our last blind baggie. Oh, whoa. We have our little straw and our little utensil. And this too. So far here is the checklist. And Kai pointed out that some are missing. Ooh. And then going back over to our ingredients. Let's see here. Hmm. It looks like we have the cream sickle float, friends. And let's do a double check. One, two, three. And yes, all of that is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that recipe out of there so we can go ahead and figure out how we are supposed to make it. your scissors or you can um, tear across the, the dotted line. Alrighty friends, so we went ahead and we put the clear piece. It is on the top so it can be able to protect everything, our recipe. And one thing that I did notice that I was very happy about already is that this, the uh, resin now when you take the top off, it doesn't have a lid or an extra that you have to take off yourself. That was the very hard part with the very first series. Um, I do like that you can just untwist the cap, it has like an extra piece of tape on there, and then it's automatically ready to pour. So looking at the recipe slip here, it looks like we are going to first pour the resin, our orange sun disco. Pour our orange resin into the cup. The second step, it looks like we're going to take our straw and we did get everything opened. And then after that, we are going to take our French vanillas and put them on top of that. And then the fourth step, it looks like it says to let it sit in the sun for about five or 10 minutes. Let's get started. Alrighty, so our first step is opening up our orange and then pouring it into our cup here. Let's see if we can get us a good pour. Oh, 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 it's coming on out. Doing good there. All right, let's put some more. Oh, good job. looks pretty good there friends and then it says after that to put the straw inside of the cup so we'll go ahead and put that 
right there on the side there let it just fall over a little bit and then we'll take it and we'll put it on top of our little placemat there and then next it says that we take our french vanilla let's open that up let's see how many they gave us Ooh, let's pour those out oh they gave us four okay so looking at our mixture how many do you think we can fit in there guy two or three yeah all right let's try it we'll go ahead and you can either use i guess the tweezers but they're big enough to use your hand and they are pretty squishy friends these are very cute these are french vanilla pieces for our creamsicle okay we got one in there and we have two and let's see if we can it looks good so far, friends. I think if we use the tweezers and then possibly try to move it down some, we can maybe get one more in there. Maybe, maybe. So we'll try it and see if we can get one more French vanilla piece in there. Alrighty, and then we'll fix it so that baby is facing up the right way. Ah, possibly. And so far, so good, friends. We had four French vanillas, but we were able to get three of them in. And we completed all four of our steps so far. So the next part is to let it sit in the sun for about five or 10 minutes. Well, let's get you baking. I'm for our Ooh, next one. Okay, so let's go ahead. Perfect. Okay, now let's get the next layer. first but I think we all know what to do so we'll put these right here and then we have our checklist but we're just going to use this checklist right here from the last one so let's get opening friends let's start with this one made fresh Ooh, what is this it's a little baggy okay we have some snacky snacks tortilla chips that's cool and it's that good stuff. All right, cool. So let's open up the cheap cool one. What's this? Some kind of... Oh, yeah, it's cheese. Oh, wow. This is, like, cool. Let's put that over here with our tortilla chips. All right, let's open up this one. Oh, we have a, like, little plate. And we have, like, a little bowl we can maybe put our cheese in. all of our ingredients first we're going to put our top together so then that is ready to cover our treat all right that's in there it's ready to go and here's all our ingredients again let's see friends and i think we have the yellow corn nachos we're definitely about to get this recipe out and let's go ahead and see how our nachos will turn out we have the bowl there, we have a nacho plate, and we have a spoon, possibly for our pico. Let's get opening. Alrighty, friends, it looks like first we will take our tortilla chips and we'll go ahead and put them in our 
saucer that we have right over here. And then after that, it looks like we take the cheese sauce and we put it over the chips possibly. Third, it looks like we cover with the pico de gallo. And then fourth, we leave in the sun for five or 10 minutes. We are going to go ahead and get our nachos put together and then we'll go ahead and show you guys the orange creamsicle. Okay, friends, we are going to start with our Snacky Snacks Co. Tortilla Chips. I like the packaging. It is so cute. And I want to see how many we do get. Let's see. Oh, okay. And let's see what the chips look like, friends. Oh, my gosh, look. They're at, like little actual tortilla chips. So we'll go ahead and we'll start putting a few of them here. Oh, just going to pop them. We can just do them together. There we go. We have our tortillas out everywhere. <laughs> and then here is the pico. Let's see what that looks like. Snacky snacks. And oh, look. Wow. And it's like, it's soft. It feels kind of sandy. Look, guy. Feels just like a little bit of like sand. <laughs> All righty. So first we'll go ahead and we'll start with our tortilla chips here. So let's see. We'll go ahead and just, I'll see if I can just pick them up and put them on here. Just load up our nacho saucer. So we have some tortilla chips there. And then next our directions, let's see, let's bring it on over here. We have our tortilla chips and it looks like we take the cheese sauce and use the spoon here to pour it over the tortilla chips, our pico, and then we bake in the sun. Start with the cheese sauce now. And like I said, it's a lot easier to open up the second series because it comes with the uh, tape on top and then it's easier to open but I would advise more caution be careful with this stuff friends only because it is not edible and it is a lot easier to open so please be careful our spoon is here and we are going to take this and friends here is our nachos we have the tortillas and the uh, cheese sauce for right now and I definitely recommend using the spoon that is included because this stuff is very sticky um, last step here it looks like to take our pico and we're gonna add it over the top of the nachos friends so what I think I'm gonna do since it is like a sand consistency I am just going to take some and then just sprinkle it around and we have a tablecloth on the table just to make it, you know, keep everything clean. And you should have extra left. There we go. It's coming together. Let's add some more pico. And then I'm going to just tap a little extra. too much although we are pico lovers here so I will take my tweezers and I actually want to try and see if we can move there we go so here is the nachos friends and it is all set up so far so good I like it you can do your own custom thing with the you know with this series so it looks like the last step is just letting this one sit in the sun for another five or ten minutes. Incoming! And it is time to reveal our cream sickle float, friends. And here it is. So far, so good. Oh, I almost knocked it over. So far, so good. Here is the orange cream sickle. We have our three French vanillas in there and it actually turned out well. I am a big fan of doing the tip test just to let you guys know that this resin, it did work and we had it in the sun for about 10 minutes. There we go. Nothing has fallen out and I would consider this one a success. Mm. 
for last fall. Oh wow, that was easy. Okay, so we can pull right here. Oh wow, that was an easy zip too. Okay, so here are all of the surprises. And of course we have the little booklets, like last time. We'll put these to the side here. Let's go ahead and open up all the blind bags. Let's start with this one. I hope we don't get any duplicates. Oh, okay. So we have like this cute little cup. So we don't have a duplicate. And let's open up this cute little one. Oh, uh, we have some orange fizz. Have a sunny day. We have, wow, we have some ice cubes. I remember getting some of these from our last unboxing. Oh, look, a little top for the ball fell out. And then what else is in here? We have our tweezers like always. And a straw. Alright friends, so if we look at the ingredients, we have everything. So I think we can make the orange soda. Okay, so the first step is, it looks like pour some of the orange soda into the cup. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh wow, that came out easy. Amazing pour. Could that be enough? Looks like it. And then it says your second step is to go ahead and drop some ice cubes in there. Just go ahead and open these ice cubes. I didn't want to tell you that with the ice cubes you have to cut them open so ask an adult to do that for you. Let's pour some in here. Oh, this will be some cold soda. Okay, that should be enough. So let's use our straw and poke them down. We did have some leftover cherries, so we should probably add some of those to make it a fruit soda. Okay, friends, so I added some cherries in here so the recipe can have a little pizzazz. So, and the last is put the straw in and the top too. Go ahead and put the top on. Then we'll put our straw in. There we go. Time to get in the sun. Time to show the nachos. Here it is in its cover. Let's get this off of here. Dun, dun, dun. Look at those yellow corn nachos, friends. And they actually turned out well. Let me get them out of here. Let's see. Finally got them out of the case here. And I, again, like to do tip test just to show that the product works. And here is our nachos. We have a couple standing up. And nothing friends and we did lose a little pico but again i would say that this recipe was also a success our three recipes are completed my friends again here is the creamsicle float we were able to get this one done and it turned out great love it love it love it love this second series so far we'll move over and we had the orange soda and remember kai added in those extra leftover cherries that we had from the first series and here it is let me get it out of here and that's what it looks like with the extra cherries up top you see the ice cubes 
and same thing success a good tip test with that one let's put it back and then last but not least was our yellow corn nachos friends and here they are they turned out well and we still have some extra ingredients so if you ever wanted to make extra snacks then you do have the extra ingredients. And these we actually still had from our first series. So here it is again, friends. This is the MGA Miniverse Cafe Series 2. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Bye.